What's up you guys, it's Hayden, and today's video topic is talking about the importance of respecting a trans person's pronouns and name. This video is dedicated to one of my friends, and when my friends or people that I really care about get hurt or they're just going through a hard time, I get kind of protective of them and I just want to shower them in love and just be there for them. This particular friend of mine, he is a trans guy and he's pretty and he's been out for I think a little less than a year now so he's been out for a while. People know what his pronouns are and what his name is. But he's been kind of going through some stuff with getting people to really respect his pronouns and respect his name and respect his transition. And he wrote a Facebook post about this kind of just to reach out to everyone and just say, hey, like I've noticed this and I would really appreciate it if you would from this point on respect my my name and my pronouns and my transition which is totally fair game to do and i'm happy and i'm proud that he actually did that because in the end of it he received a lot of love and support and people just saying really amazing things about him because he's a good person and he deserves nothing but the best and just getting some respect from people. It's a really simple thing to ask. I mean, sometimes people do go through a mourning process and they, they grieve the loss of the person that they once knew. And that's totally normal to, to feel and experience. I'm not trying to belittle those emotions whatsoever. What I'm trying to say is that it's really important that you use the correct pronouns and name of a trans person. It's about respect, and it's about respecting this person who you love who happens to be trans. It's about respecting their, their life, about respecting them as an individual. After my friend had posted this Facebook status, he did receive a lot of love and support, and it was really awesome to see. But he did receive one negative comment, and that negative comment happened to be his father. And I should note that I did get permission from my friend to talk about this. <laughs> I didn't just go do it, I, I asked him if I could make a video about this. His father started out the entire comment by spelling my friend's name the feminine way and not the masculine way and he made a point to say that that would be the only way that he would spell his name. And then he said, and he meant no disrespect, but he knows what his birth certificate states and it's also the name that his parents picked for him. And then he went on stating that he will always love him and love him unconditionally and that that's what parents do. They love their children unconditionally until it hurts. My friend had a pretty great response to his father with that statement and he said that he seems to be confusing unconditional love with tough love. But then after that, his father was saying that even if he went to go have the transgender surgery, that he would still love him. But him and many others in the family think that he is making a huge mistake. Which that statement in itself is really damaging and detrimental to a person. And I will go into that kind of thing a little bit further on into this video. But the thing that really upset me the most about this entire thing was this next part, and I will just include a clip of it. There have been studies, and there is proof that transgender surgery is the new form of cutting. It's just one more way to mangle your body in effort to fix it something deeper. In your case, the result of 
Something I'm not gonna say because it's something that is so personal that you should probably get permission from the person before posting it publicly. That seems like something I shouldn't have to say though, but unfortunately in this situation it, it is. The problem with it is that it won't fix the problem deep inside and the percentage of transgenders who commit suicide is astronomical. The reason is because once they've done this final thing to become the person they think they are or want to be, there's nothing beyond that. So this is completely false information, and this is what made me so mad about this entire thing. The fact that A, he was listing off some of my friend's most personal and hard times of his life publicly for everyone to see, but then B, he was listing off false information. I am assuming the study that he is talking about was the study that was done in 2011 and it was done in Sweden and it was at an institute and it was conducted by a woman named Cecilia. And see, the thing with this study, it was done in 2011, but then it was brought into, you know, America mainstream media by the Wall Street Journal in 2014. Paul McHugh wrote for the Wall Street Journal and he wrote an article in saying that the transgender surgery is not the solution. So in this article, McHugh, he referenced the study that was done in Sweden in 2011. And see, the thing with this, he failed to mention a lot of things about this study. And so basically, this study, what McHugh's was making it seem to be was that people who were trans and they went through surgical procedures with their transition, they experienced higher rates of suicide and mortality. But the thing is with this, this was done over a 30 year span. After reading it more closely, we will discover that there was increased rates of mortality before 1989. And anything after that was not statistically different from the general population. And so the thing with McHugh's article that he had wrote for the Wall Street Journal, he didn't include a lot of things. Okay, so for one, even the APA doesn't list transgender as a mental illness. The critical thing is gender dysphoria and treating gender dysphoria. And for many trans people, undergoing surgery and receiving hormones can help with their dysphoria. It can essentially alleviate the dysphoria. And let me tell you, I'm walking proof of that. Though I have not had surgery yet, me being on hormones for over two years now, it has helped my life substantially, and I have been the happiest and healthiest I have ever been. Even the American Psychological Association and the American Medical Association has stated that it is best that people do not try to change one's gender identity just like it is best that people do not try to change one's sexual orientation. It is more damaging than good for that person. And McHugh failed to mention the fact that many people who are trans and they undergo surgery and have hormones have a much happier life and they live happier lives. He took information that was A, outdated, B, he completely skewed it, he didn't even give the actual facts of the study, and I just can't talk about it anymore. <laughs> yes, there are high suicide rates among trans individuals. To be exact, 41% of trans-identified people had stated that they had attempted suicide. So yes, it is a really real thing. But see, the fact is we're not basing all of these facts on, on this study where he's stating that 10 years down the road, the suicide rates were higher. That's not what we're focusing on. You have to really focus in on, on this problem. And what's really ironic about this entire thing was my friend's father saying that he has to fix the problem that is deeper within. 
but at the same time, that's this entire thing. You know, trans people are trying to fix that problem, which is gender dysphoria, and they're trying to fix that by having access to hormones and having access to surgery if that's the path they so choose to take. But you see, the other part of fixing the problem that is deeper within has to be done on another level. It has to be done on a level where cisgender folks are getting involved, and it has to be done on a level where the government is being involved. Because the National Transgender Discrimination Survey that is done the numbers reflect a lot of discrimination among trans people, and that includes on their housing, on their employment, through their family, through their schools, through every aspect of their lives. They are being discriminated against based on the fact that they are transgender, and that is not okay. So yes, suicide rates are high among the trans community because a lot of trans people experience a lot of rejection in many areas of their life. And when one is being told that their life is, is wrong and that their life isn't going to amount to anything and that they are making a huge mistake and all of this, this, I'm sorry, but bullshit, yes. It is going to get that person down, and it is going to make them feel like they are not worthy. And that is not the message that anyone should be giving anyone. We all have a purpose here on this earth, and it's really unfortunate when people are maybe unintentionally or intentionally belittling another person and making them feel not adequate or not good enough in their image. And thankfully, with my friend, he has an immense amount of support and love in his life, and he knows that he is appreciated and loved and valued in this world. But that doesn't happen for everyone, you see? And that's why this is important. That's why this topic is so important. It is so important if you have trans loved ones to to try your best to understand, you know, try your absolute best and to just respect them as a person and yes, love them unconditionally, but do not belittle them and do not tell them that they are making a mistake with their life. Because quite honestly, this could be a moment that changes their life forever for the better. I just, I cannot express enough how important it is to use and respect people's pronouns and their name. It can do wonders just to acknowledge their pronouns and their name. It can really make or break a day for a trans person, so always keep that in mind. And, you know, if you slip up on pronouns, that's fine. You slip up, that happens. I mean, Christ, even I slipped up on my own name at work all the time when I pick up the phone. You bet. <laughs> I mean, I went by one name for so long, you know? But um, there's a difference between slipping up and intentionally misgendering someone and using the incorrect name. Okay, my camera is gonna die because I keep talking, but thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Feel free to share this video if you think it's gonna be helpful for other people. I'll do a video soon. I did this one sooner because, you know, life happens and I, I love my friends and kudos to my friend. You handled the situation in such a great way and you were positive about it and you're just a great person and never, ever forget that. I'll do a video soon, not sure when, but until then, I hope you all have a safe and wonderful few days ahead. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.